a super featherweight contest over six rounds between Emmanuel Noy Mensa of the Seconds Art Boxing Gym and John Quay of the Sea View Boxing Gym. Officials for this bout. Judge 1, Confidence Yagbo. Judge 2, Shadrach Akwe. And Judge 3, Clement Ashon. The man in charge of this fight is May Mesa Akako. So let's welcome the boxer, John Quay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm to the same. Young say, UK, Ossia, Gia, me. You know, be Nemo, be Nemo, be Pasha, say. You do any sign, just want to catch up. It's in a tenant, who near. That's why I'm a Kua. Many a test for your Kua. What's the sense of the Bona? The back to the Sanda. What's with your blessing? No one gets if you want a tester, stop right there, I'm not your tester. Yeah, uh, master. Uh, I'm deaf when you talk Because I've been ready to jam my man call You see your type punch you in here Oh joy You see my back Jaja See my front Jaja When you see everything Jaja 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 You see my back Jaja So we we now waiting for the boxer From the seconds out boxing gym Emmanuel Noy Mesa Can't tell you that. Don't put your troubles on my back. So me can't want to take now. Obi kote koka. Me I'm done. If you obi fa fa, we say obi me ho, obi me ha. Bury my two boys in another boka. If you don't know, you go know. Obi babe su. We say I can see my my my. Hey, yeah my. Anti sapo shi. What's your name? Bury my what's your name? If you see my bandana. Baby, let me prepare your heart. I beg God it won't stay in your heart Make sure I'm mad pee but I prefer your heart All right. the time I'm so let me repair your heart Give me a chance to wipe your tears Come out all the advice you get from peers Many many love stories said in your ears The tears in your eyes make I know you the fear But I promise I will be a better man I know pretend to be a better man I know some bad guys they my motherland I go love you the way you know we need another man Yeah guys you know me your brothers from another mother So this is the moment all of us are waiting for this is one of the main events of the evening and today we are here with the main event of the evening and this is a super featherweight contest over six rounds now officials for this bout we have judge one confidence Yagbo, judge two shadrach Akwe, and judge three clement sean now introducing the boxer fighting out from the blue corner this is a boxer making his third appearance on the boxing league platform with a weight of 127 pounds this is a boxer always also known to be called the magician this is the man with the official record of seven fights four defeats he has won three one draw and the two wins came by way of knockout the man who is known to be called the magic man john Quay. sweet 
reaching over to the red corner. Another boxer with the weight of 130 pounds with the official record of 11 fights, four defeats, seven wins. Five of those wins came by way of knockout. Presenting to you the boxer, Emmanuel Mensah. And the man in charge of this fight is May Mensah Akako. That glove, a good love. Well, Jude, we've seen the exploits of uh, John Quay in this season's edition of the uh, Deluxe Professional Boxing League. So we pretty much know what this man on your screen is uh, all about. All we need to do is to relax to see how he handles the uh, hurdle in front of him. Yeah, and. Uh Emmanuel Mensah, looking at its record, tells it all. I mean, round very much experience. One. So here we go, round one. It's the last bout of the evening. Bout is scheduled for six. It's the super featherweight uh, contest. Emmanuel Mensah representing the seconds out gym. And uh, John Quay is from Seaview. Let me remind you that you can go for your Eddie's Pizza. Eddie's Pizza is out there at the entrance. You can go sizing for each other up at this stage. Your very tasteful pizza. In bouts that we've seen uh, John pizza. Quay fight, he's been very, very, very clinical. For the careful with for the punches. Family, for yourselves, especially our Muslim brothers who are fasting. Fasting started yesterday. Thank you very much. And uh, he's also an effective jabber. Emmanuel Neumensa. 11 fights. He's got 7 wins. 5 of those wins by way of knockout. Which clearly tells you that he loves to go the short distance. But he's coming up against quite a durable boxer in uh, John Quay. Using the jabs to effective precision. Looking for the big opening, just the first round. Oh, that was a big one. And again, land, uh, landing with precision, punches to the head of uh, Noy Mensa. Missing out on those two uh, punches clearly from uh, John Quay. He's been an ambassador for Seaview Boxing Gym in this uh, Deluxe Professional Boxing League. It's the third time of asking we're watching him. So he gets the opening that he wants once again as the first round comes to an end. A very good run for John Quay. He's using his antics very well, but of course, he's getting his jabs right. He's making sure Emmanuel Mensah has not come very close to, to, to him. 
And the one thing I've learned about him is very quick with both hands. He's been learning some combinations as well. Pretty good crowd for John Quay, but for this man, he needs to do a lot more. He needs to be practically much more quicker. He needs to be much more slower. Even though he is the most experienced between the two, he needs to do more. He needs to get his self right. He needs to get that straight punch right. And then his movement must also be excellent. Other than that, John Quay has been pretty excellent in the first round. Come here, what dog up in the I'm a puma, but I'm a I'm a way I'm saying, just look at that. Both left and right. Seconds out, round one. Yeah. Seconds out. Round two. It's round two of the uh, final bout of the evening. It's a super featherweight contest and it's scheduled for six rounds. Representing seconds out is Emmanuel Neumensa, who is the taller of the two boxers in white. His opponent from CVO is John Quay, white trunks with a red, yellow, and green. Picking up a few points from the jabs as he goes along, John Quay. Wild miss by uh, Neumensa. a good jab to the head of uh, John Quay. One of his uh, strong points, John Quay, is that he can manage to penetrate through the guard of any boxer that stands in front of him. Careful predatory skills. Wild miss on that occasion. Works the jab to effectiveness, uh, John Quay. But then misses with the wild uh, punches. then likes to you know show show off a bit clearly giving signals to their opponents that he is in firm control so slowly but surely and gradually Oh, that's a big one from uh, John. Tries to work the jab and then work, walks himself out of trouble. Mensa is not giving him an inch. McQuay scores again and then he starts with a showboating. That has been his style. Mensa pushes him into the corner but receives a bang on the head. Last 10 seconds of the first, or of the second round, I should say, it's been pretty good for John Quay. Another superb performance from uh, Quay. And again, he's always doubling up on the jab. That seems to be working perfectly for him. He gets the open with a jab, and then he goes in with the left hook, which has been landing pretty well. Amazing, but he needs to find a way of blocking those, those jabs and, and getting that, that opening that he needs. He's not been throwing a lot more punches, he's not been landing, he's not been very accurate for a man or man here. Yeah. But just look at Quay doubling up on the jab and getting it accurately well on the face. And then he goes in with that hook. He has been pretty good for him. Just look at those hooks. Very dangerous one with power. Take us out. Take us out. Round three. Round three it is. Fight is scheduled for six. And it's a battle between Emmanuel Neumann and John Quay. 
Emmanuel Neumenta representing the second South Gym. And in the far corner on your screen is John Quay representing Sea View. Crowd and fans still here with us right from start to the final uh, bout. Today's been pretty much a very good night. Two boxers try to uh, trade punches now. Wild misses from uh, John Quay. Jabs are quite effective for John Quay. Mensa leaves the guard up a few, a few times. Noimensa trying as much as possible to uh, prevent that effective jab of uh, John Quay. And he's doing quite well with that, especially with the left. There he goes again. Lands one to the head of uh, Noimensa. And then lands another two at a time. John Quay almost always ever confident no matter the boxer he faces and then he gets one connects one right to the head But looking at the bar from a distance, you would think that John Quay is actually using uh, Mensa as part of uh, his training regime. He's having easy opportunities at uh, using the jab effectively. That he has done with his left and connected a few times with the right, although he's also missed quite a bunch of them. Easy target for John Quay. He's picked up the points and he's still picking up the points. End of round three. The man of Mensa is really struggling because it's pretty much slow. And just look at the movement of Quay. Quay seems to be very quick. He knows when to move it. He knows when to get a jump and get him out of trouble. And it's pretty much difficult for Emmanuel of Mensa to catch it. He needs to double up on the jump. He needs to be much more quicker and much more intelligent. Just look at Quay here doubling up on the jump all the time. And then he goes in with the hook. He went in perfectly. And any time he goes in for the very wild punch, he misses. He needs to be careful with those wild uh, punches, but he's been connected very well with those hooks on the left. Yeah, again, just look at the combination, landing side combination. And that is one thing Imano Mesa has not been able to do uh, during those three rounds that we've seen. No combination of just no combination of wild punches. Round four. Round four out of this bout, which is scheduled for six, is a super featherweight contest. And uh, May Mensa Akako noticing that the cornermen of uh, John Quay have moved closer to the judge and will need to sort that one out. And that's sorted out of the way. Hostilities will begin we're doing six rounds of this bout and this is just round four
Mensah trying to uh, open up and of course see whether he can score uh, a few with a jab. He's done pretty much okay. He's managed to penetrate the guard of uh, Kwe a few times. And uh, as regular as clockwork, Kwe is still getting the points from the jab and showboating in the process. Now there's a follow-up from uh, Mensa. It's getting hotter and heavier now. Mensa in the exchanges there. A couple of punches to the head of Mensa. Kwe is getting precise. Oh, lost his balance in the process. Well, he needs a little bit of respite, doesn't he? So again, technically, Kwe is showing that he's ready for almost everything that is thrown at him, especially when he has to collect the points from the jabs. Steady punches to the head of uh, Mensa. Also quite comfortable when the opponent opens up. <laughs> Sometimes there's almost always a reminder of a certain uh, Emmanuel Tego in his attitude. Very comfortable, very confident, picking up the jabs, picking the points. Mesa scores a quick one there with a straight jab to the face. Oh, that was big. Mesa feeling very comfortable coming forward. Allowing Kwe again to use the jab to advantage. Interesting scenes here. She already has her hands on her head. Sometimes I don't pretty much like the showboating from John Kwe. It needs to be serious sometimes. Yes, this is job. serious boxing. But of course, he knows he's dominating. He knows he's the kicker. He's been very much good. We don't counter punches. We don't move. He's been landing pretty well. But then again, you saw Mesa every time. John Kwe misses from that left hook. He gets into the inside and he's able to turn in some combinations as well. So he needs to be careful there. He's still inside the hook. Right onto the face of John Kwe. This is where he needs to be careful. To get to that, to just let me talk to myself. But again, it's a very